Okay guys, so adults, uh, we just watch the video for the kids. It's just, it's slightly different for you guys, okay? So for adults, the way that we break down the grading system, the first three grades are all about self-defense. The next three grades are all about the martial arts, the fundamentals, the, the real principles of the martial arts. Brown belt is all about conditioning. And black belt is all about understanding, attitude, helping others, that kind of thing, okay? So we'll rewind back to so your red belt. What do you need to know for your red belt? Well, first of all, you need to look at de-escalation strategies, self-protection. How do I avoid the fight? You know, how do I not get into a situation where that guy's going to corner me? Where's the exit? Um, you know, can I calm the situation down? Can I not be the kind of asshole that people want to punch in the face? Which is easier for some of us than others. Not easy for me personally. Um, so that's a red belt, right? So you learn about um, self-protection, awareness, avoidance. You learn about uh, basic striking, okay, and then just a few basic techniques, um, a couple of break falls, and how to get yourself out of trouble, okay. The next one then is uh, for yet for orange belt, I should say, is anti grappling. Well, what do I do if he grabs hold of me? How do I break those grips, okay? Maybe I don't want to break the grips. Maybe I want to break him instead, right? So how do I close quarter striking? Okay, uh, maybe I want to put him on the floor, right? So what do I do when I'm grabbed? Ideally, break the grip and get out of there, but not always an option, so we'll have a look at what the other options are for what we call anti-grappling, okay? Next level then is uh, yellow belt is, well, wh what do I do if I get knocked onto the floor? So you need to be able to fall properly, you need to be able to move on the floor, you need to be able to fight from the floor, and you need to be able to get back up again, okay? Once you pass those three, you're into the green belt. So at sort of green belt level, People have a reasonable, reasonable chance at self-defense, right? They, they should be okay most of the time. They're not going to have too much trouble. Uh, so we start to look at the fundamentals of the martial arts. And, and there's four basic categories. You have your striking. You have your throws and your takedowns. You have your pins and your submissions. And you have your weapons, okay? So green belts, you look at the sort of basic level. Blue belts, you're going to look at the same stuff from a higher level. Purple belts, you're going to really specialize on counters, okay? And then again, brown belt, we're going to look at everything all the way through and we're going to see, we're going to basically come up with, we have a set of conditioning um, practices and tests that we use to really sort of grind it down. And you spend a year at brown belt and then we'll assess you for your black, okay? Somewhere between three and seven years is a perfectly reasonable amount of time to go from white to black belt with us. Uh, it's very unlikely you'll be less than three years. It's unlikely that you'll be more than seven years, but it does depend on your frequency of training, your, um, you know, what your sort of mindset is, your attitude would be the biggest one, uh, and what else you've done. So if you've done another martial art uh, to a reasonably high level, then I would expect you could get through it reasonably quickly, okay? Reasonably quickly. Um, you still, there's still a time in grade factor, and that's an attitude thing more than anything else. Okay, so always, if you have questions, please just ask me in class. All right, take it easy, guys.